Hi there, my name is Marin, Head of Customer Education here at Quip, and I'm so excited to show you the power of Quip today through this video. Today, in this 15 minute video, we're going to cover what is Quip and why should you care? The power of the app mention, reminders and tasks, real time collaboration and conversation, folders and sharing, live apps, and Quip slides. Okay, let's be honest. Do you have more than 50 emails in your inbox right now? I get it. Most days you probably feel like this. I've talked to a lot of customers and they all tell me the same thing. Their working together looks like this. It's a bunch of detours and stop signs just to make a decision or run with a project. Endless email chains, full calendars, and managing unlimited file versions is the norm, and most companies have this culture of stagnation. At Quip, we believe the most successful businesses will be the ones that empower their employees to do their best work. Quip changes the way teams work together by deeply integrating documents, spreadsheets, and slides with real-time chat and Salesforce. Quip works with your other tools, so you can work seamlessly throughout your day in a more efficient way. I mean, wouldn't it be nice to have 43% less email, 38% fewer meetings, 37% faster projects, or 50% better communication? That's what a lot of our customers tell us. I swear, this could be you. Wouldn't that be amazing? There are so many things that you can do and create with Quip. And some of my favorite examples are creating a project plan for each project you're assigned for next quarter, setting up your team's out of office or work remote calendars, plan events from brainstormed execution across multiple departments, or create a task list with reminders to keep track of your projects on your own. So now that we know what Quip is, let's jump in and experience it for ourselves. A Quip document is more than words on a page. It's a live canvas for real-time communication and collaboration. You can have social app mentions, spreadsheets, checklists, along with interactive collaboration tools you've never put into a document before. For example, I can at mention my teammate Sue. I'll ask her for feedback about a project. I can request that feedback by Friday by simply using that at mention tool again. You can use this at mention for anything, mentioning people, mentioning dates, and mentioning something called live apps that we'll get into in just a moment. Requesting Sue's feedback about a project will remind her via notifications and the task list located on the left-hand side panel here. We recently launched this task tab located on the left-hand side. For any reminder assigned to you, you'll see them located here. This is a great way to manage your to-dos. No matter who has requested your feedback on any document, you'll be able to stay on top of your tasks at all times with reminders before the deadline. For example, I recently launched a roadmap with project plans for my new role. I shared this roadmap with my team. Within that roadmap, I requested that anything they need my help with, please at mention me and if there's a deadline, include the deadline. That way, I'll be able to easily see my tasks on the task list every day when I log in. Even though I won't go into every single document that my team's working on, I know what I have to do from my task list. While we will be mostly working in a doc today, I want to call out a very important element to Quip, folders and sharing. Quip is meant to be very collaborative, so work is supposed to be shared with the team you need when you need them. I highly recommend sharing folders instead of sharing documents. Sharing folders means that your teams will have access to any document they need without you needing to explicitly share each and every document. Note, each time you create a new document, it will be automatically saved into your private folder. This allows you to work on your document free of interruption until you're ready to share it. Once you're ready, you can move the document into your shared team or project folder. So you might be wondering, how do I ensure that my team members see the document when I share it? You'll see the conversation button in the upper right hand corner of your page here. You can start a conversation with your colleague by simply, you guessed it, at mention them. For instance, I'm looking for approval on a project plan before going ahead, so I can invite my colleague, Sue, into this document. Sue will now have access to this document and she can comment and respond within that same pane. Now, going back to the document, one of the great things about Quip is the way that they come alive with the use of something called live apps. So what are live apps? Live apps are a fancy way of saying we can add really cool stuff to our docs. Recall earlier when we used that add key. We had access to a number of tools when we did that. We can add calendars, Kanban boards, 
project tracker tools, spreadsheets, and even live Salesforce data into our documents. For example, this is a real document of a project that I'm currently working on for the education team. You can see here that we have text, spreadsheets, a project tracker naming an owner, the status of that element, and a deadline. You'll see we can add in things like Kanban boards, countdowns, polls, process bars, and other integrations. At any time, simply use the at key and start typing what you're looking for, and you'll be able to add in that live app. Now, the last topic I want to discuss is Quip Slides. Quip Slides is a new tool for collaboration designed to help teams make the right decision quickly. Team-based slides quickly and clearly drive cross-functional decisions in context without email or meetings. Within a Quip Slide, you can create the same beautiful content that you can in Quip Docs. For example, you can add images, text, live apps, even Salesforce live data. You also have the ability to add charts and polls. Use any of the formatting functions located at the top of the page to add in these elements. For example, if I wanted to add in a poll, all I have to do is select poll and drop it in on top of my slide. I can enter in a prompt such as, do you think we should have homework? And I can add in my options, yes. No. I can add additional options, like not for the one-on-one -on -one training. Now when I send out my slides to my colleagues and I ask them for feedback, I can easily request that feedback without having a meeting. They can let me know if they think we should assign homework for the one-on-one -on -one training or not. You can add feedback prompts like this poll on any of your slides. You can go down to the little list of decisions like which image to use, whether a slide should be included or not, anything that you feel is necessary to make your decisions and get those approvals quickly. Similar to Quip Docs, live data and contextual chat comes built into Quip Slides. You can easily add inline comments anywhere. Simply select the comment option and drop it where you wish to add the comment. For example, I can add a comment to this image here. I can say, not sure about this image. Maybe a better screenshot. Lastly, you have the ability to see who's viewed or engaged with your slides. By selecting the conversation tab at the top of the page and selecting insights, you can see who's viewed and engaged with your slides. This is amazing because if you've asked for feedback by the end of the week from your team, you can see here who's accessed your slides and engaged with them by providing comments or answers on a poll, etc. If you notice that someone on your team has not yet engaged with your slides as requested, you can simply go back to that conversation pane and at mention them to make sure they go ahead and respond to that feedback. My calls for feedback were answered and everyone did agree that we should assign homework at the end of this course. What I want you to do right now is go ahead and sign in at quip.com. Create one of the following documents either a task list of your to-dos, a team holiday calendar, a meeting notes template to share with your boss, or create your own document. Then, invite one colleague into your document, share it with them, start collaborating immediately. Create a shared folder with your team. Be sure to add this document into that shared folder. And lastly, download the mobile app from the App Store you can take action on any of these documents from your mobile app. So whether you're commuting, you're on the bus, you're taking a walk to the gym, go ahead and try it. Have feedback or questions? Check out quipsupport.com.